morning. Uh, so yesterday I packaged up uh, the new release of Wales um, and noticed that on Snippet Pixie when I used it, uh, I had this critical error when I quit the app. Um, and I think, and the builds died as well. And it seems to have been a change. So when I look at how it failed, uh, so when the tests ran, it says the main app shut down was undefined. Um, so something's obviously changed um, in the required functions. Um, so I need to investigate that and see if I can get these tests fixed up again. So, um, let's have a look. So let's look at uh, what we have already in Snippet Pixie in app. So we have a startup function uh, and that's like a, a kind of a standard thing. Um, and then we've got a before close, uh, which is where I clean up um, the dbus connection that we create in startup and I don't use anything else so in let's see where are we where's the main there it is in the main here I set um, the on startup and on before close to those functions but presumably something has changed and I am actually required to do a shutdown now. So let's go look at the default um, project I created yesterday. I never looked at the code. So let's look at main and then we'll look at So main doesn't require anything other than the on start up there. And again, I think that's I mean, that's not strictly required anyway, I think I'll have to go look at the docs, to make sure. It doesn't have a shutdown here either. So it's something else. It's not the whales set up. That's the issue. Maybe. Maybe it's something else. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's do, oops. Let's run the tests here. Main app shutdown undefined. App. NG app. Interesting. Okay, well, let's have, um, let's check from here and see where we've got shutdown specified. Nowhere. So it's not me trying to call anything. Hmm. Uh, 
OK, I think it's time to have a look at the code. So I'm going to have to refresh. Um, my version and uh, have a quick look. Okay. Okay. I think I'll open that in Goland. do its indexing. So let's look under, well I better wait for it to index. Okay, let's look for something matching that. Let's see if there's anything there. So there's some template stuff and shut down. Some window stuff. Some tracing. There's a good chance this is actually related to um, something else, such as uh, WebKit. But hmm. Not seeing anything obvious there. It's all kind of the usual stuff. So it was app ng. So not dev. I what, what was it I was using? Was I using Dev at the time? No, it also happened on a build, so it could be this. Yeah, it's not a lot there. Not a lot there either. This is using it.
Hmm, interesting. Let's look at the uh, file. Wales dot go thirty five. Which I don't know to find. Okay, let's clean out some of this. All right, that's the one. <laughs> OK, there is no line 35. Main app shut down. Interesting. Something strange going on there. Could it be that I'm trying to call shutdown somewhere? Hmm. Okay. Well, that's the issue there. Where did that come from? Is that generated by a template? Hmm. 
I wonder where that's coming from. Because it's not the default. It's kind of as if somehow somehow I have an old wales.go in my package but that's How did that? Does that be to thirty-eight? Hmm. Let's um let's go check this. Oh, it's definitely there. Okay, I'm confused now. Just updated that. Did it get fetch? Okay, cool. Okay, that's fine. That's up to date.
Hmm. Okay. Let's check whether it made it into the tag. Wonder if it's um no, it's there. Something not right somehow. Okay, so presumably what it means is that somehow there is shutdown missing from the Linux builds. there so but is that right I wonder if it's the way that I'm doing the, the tests as well. So it's in the default. It's private though. In the bindings. It's not expected. About if I look at the Mac version. No, it's fine. Okay, so these are little placeholders. I'm a bit confused now. It's supposedly there.
I'm confused. Mm. Very, very confused. Why is that not in there? That's why. <laughs> okay. I didn't do a proper. F I didn't do a fetch from. What did? Weird. Okay. Don't know why. I, I should have. When I did the command line, I obviously did it wrong somehow. I think I've got one origin. Yeah, well. Okay, so. Somehow, this is missing. Comes from here. I gotta work out all these build tag things. So App NG App Linux What about So dev dev does have a shutdown. Okay. So what about prod? That too does have a shutdown. So, is it the way that I'm building? Although, Wells Dev also had the same issue, didn't it? <laughs> I'm not mucking about with Wells Dev, but I am mucking about with the build. So when I quit this, do I get the same issue? Yes. But is that... Is that the same problem? Am I looking at two different issues here? Shut down completed here.
that's different. Yeah, it's a bit of a red hair in that. Okay. So let's tackle this in two ways then. Let's see if we can fix the test. Because I'm wondering whether it's a case that when I run the tests, It's not picking up a build. It's not doing the inclusion of the right files because I'm not giving it any tags. And so it's probably not I don't know. I mean, I don't know whether there's... It's probably just not picking up the right build paths. So can you add tags to a test? So my tests, I go, go to tags test. Hmm. Do I even have? I do. I remember now. Right, this is me slowly. Getting to the point where I understand what I've done. I had to do some changes. This is going to be where I'll work out that I made a mistake. So here, That's right. Okay, so I had to get around the fact that we were using this embed FS. So by default, it's embedding the front end dist, which is this. But when I'm doing uh, just just want to run the bindings, which looks at the app and generates all the JavaScript, or I'm running the tests, I don't have, in general. Um, or potentially don't yet have all the dist stuff because it could be clean. So I do this instead. Now, I wonder if because I'm using tags
whether that's causing an issue. That could be the issue for the thing. So let me double check if I'm using it anywhere else. The none of my files. Okay. So Let me try this. I'm not sure if that's right or not. I'll find out in a minute. Internal front end has a server so as well. Undefined runtime. So that obviously caused issues. What if I kind of need to find out when? when it does include stuff, like shutdown. That's build production. That's obviously not working. App Linux we know is not to build target. Nope, oh, didn't really want to do that. Got where it was now. Start here. Dev. Let's give it a go. Is that starting up a dev server? <laughs> it might be. Oh, yeah. Yay, okay, so that's the issue. Hmm. Okay. So that means it's possibly still 
a different issue with the uh, exit. Um, okay, so let's see if this actually does work on, um, on the builds as well. Just clean all these out for the moment. Commit that. And we'll push that up. With luck, they'll finish before I need to knock off and get on my work day. Okay, so that's up and running. We'll go look at that in a minute. So Okay, so that's good. So we've fixed the problem with the tests, hopefully, um, by making sure that it includes this dev um, version of uh, functions for the app in app ng uh, package, which includes shutdown. Um, I've got to work out why. Getting this other th problem as well. So when I run build bin snippet pixie. And then quit. I get a GTK error. Main loops is not equal to null. Hmm. So let's go have a look at this again. This is possibly front end desktop if you look in here this is just like a inclusion bit go to new front end desktop Linux so we're back we're in here now. front end so somehow when it quits it's not cleaning up or something weird's going on with the main loop so let's see what happens so we come in here we'll create a new front end It's the assets server. Uh, 
starts processing messages. And it's the GTK. Hmm. Here's the main window. So I wonder if something's changed in the version. Oh my god, so do the run. Where is where's all the C stuff? So this is um, a Cgo basically file. It's built in talking to the C stuff. Just, before I get into this, just see how the build's doing. Okay, so Ubuntu passed, that's good. Let's double check what happened at the end. test. Yeah, okay. So that passed. That's good. Looking good there. Um, and the next one takes a little bit longer because it has to build whales first. Um, and various other bits and bobs. Right, I'm rapidly running out of time, so I'm maybe not going to get a chance to look at the C thing. Okay, that's just showing the Go stuff there, I think. So. Yeah, I'm not familiar with this much, so uh, GTK in it. It's not in here, so. That's quoting directly into it. OK. 
Okay, I don't think that's actually relevant in this case. It's on menu stuff. I think uh, this, this is a bit out of my depth here. I'll have to study this a bit longer and see what I can find. I wonder if there's a bit of cleanup required on destroy or close. I'll have to have a look at the history in here to see if something's changed or whether it's something's changed in the version of GTK um, WebKit that I'm now compiling against now that I've updated the package, which is possible. But yeah, I can't really uh, get into that now because I've got three minutes and then I've got to stand up. So I'll close that off for the moment. Um, at least I've fixed the tests. I've just got something else to go and look at now. And that's finished as well, so Nixos has passed as well. That's good. Yeah, we're good. By putting in the dev so that it's actually got a proper target to build against. Good. Glad I uh, solved that little mystery because that would have bugged me. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, and take care.